I'm going to show you how to design this funeral program cover with CorelDRAW 2020. So stick around till the end of this video because I'll be doing this step by step. Coming up right now. What is going on? My name is Dennis, helping you build your graphic design skills. If learning graphic design and making creative designs interest you, consider subscribing and click on the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video like this one. So these are the resources I'll be using for these tutorials. And first thing first, I'm going to open up my Corel Draw, and what I'm going to do there is to set my page how I want my page look like so i'm going to open up corel draw like this and once you open up corel draw 2020 this is the workspace you see so you have to click on new document and this dialog box pops up and next thing you need to do is to set your file name but for me i'm going to leave it at untitled and next thing you need to do is to set the primary color mode you need to work with for now i'll leave it at cmyk i want to work with cmyk and next thing i'm going to do is to set my size and this uh, program cover is gonna be um, A3 so I'm going to set my size to A3 here and set my uh, unit to inches fine and I'll make sure my orientation is at landscape and that's very perfect if you're okay with this you click on OK and it opens up like this and the next thing you need to do is to double click on rectangle to to get the perfect rectangle shape of this a3 size and the next thing you need to do is to fill it with a white color for the main time and the next thing you need to do is to right click here where you have this sign here or you right click here to take off the outline on this white shape and that's fine next thing i'm going to do is to click here and drag so when you see this notification there center then you right click before you leave that is to say you want to duplicate that shape to a4 you can see i now have a4 shape like this and the next thing you need to do is to click on the a3 shape again hold the midpoint and drag to center that's where you see center and that's okay you leave it so now i have two a4 shapes like this if this was not clear, you can watch over and over again till you understand this technique. And the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in my resources into the design. Good, and this is fine. This is the background I'll be using for the design. And this is my gold gradient. I set this gold gradient to use it anytime I'm working with gold color. I love this particular gradient. That's why I had to save it. I'm going to link up all these resources on the description so you can get it and make your own design. And don't forget to send it to me on Instagram so I see how it looks like. And when doing this, if you are uploading on social media, make sure you make an hashtag delight and graphics. Then that is fine. Next thing I'm going to do now is to place this background inside the shape and remember whenever you are designing a cover a book cover or any cover at all the front cover is always at the right side of your design and the back cover is always at the left so i'm going to power clip this background at the back side sorry at the front side of the design so i'm going to right click on the background and you see this option power clip inside you click and click on the shape and that's fine next thing you need to do is to press alternate and click on the background again press shift on your keyboard and reduce the background evenly this way and it looks very cool fine and next thing i'm going to do is to power clip my picture into the background as well because i want to blend this picture and the background together so it looks perfect when printed and I'm going to click now this picture has a little transparency down here that's because I've already worked on this picture and I converted to bitmap before making this tutorial and that's fine I'm going to use it the way it is right click on the picture and click on power clip inside and click on this shape like this and one more thing you may ask how did I take off the background of this picture 
I made a dedicated video on how to remove or cut out picture background. I'm going to link up the video on the description where you have recommended video so you can watch it if you don't know how to take off a picture background and that will be nice. Next thing I'm going to do is to open up my power clip. Either you click on edit here or you right click on the shape and click on edit power clip and that's fine the power clip is open now i can take off the picture now and take this upwards a little press control while doing this so you remain on a straight line like this see how it goes it remains on a straight line then bringing the picture down here because i want the picture since the woman is wearing white i want the white to blend with the white background okay and i'm going to place it this way that's fine and now one more thing about this tutorial it's not necessary that every uh, burial or funeral program cover you design must be the same way it depends on how your pictures look like i made a video on how to place pictures on a design maybe i'm going to recommend that video on the description as well so you can watch how to place pictures on every design there is a way your picture looks like and you place your picture on that design that way now the reason why i had to place this picture on the center because the woman's body is centralized facing front and her face is also facing front so though if i take it to the left or right it's still fine but it depends on your own picture you, you'll be using to make your own uh cover design okay but for this tutorial i'm going to leave the picture on the center fine next thing i'm going to do is to create this shape using my pen tool click here and click on pen tool and create this custom shape like this you can click anywhere but make sure you get this course so you click and drag upwards this way and leave click on alternate on your keyboard and click on this node so you remain on a straight line because pain tool always want to create curves but when you press alternate and click on the node here it changes to a straight line then you click here and click here down here and take this downwards to create another curve like this that's fine you can see it wants to create another curve but you press alternate on your keyboard and click on this node and bring it here that is perfect now so i've been able to create this nice shape like this and i'm going to bring this shape downwards here that is fine and give it a temporal color maybe yellow for now and right click here to take off the outline press ctrl page down on your keyboard to send this shape to the back that's fine and now you can close your power clip either you click on finish editing content or you right click and click finish editing power clip that is it so i'm going to bring in this my gold gradient into my design once again and you may ask why i choose gold if you look at this scarf the woman is carrying it looks a kind of yellowish and gold color that's why i opt for gold so next up i'm going to fill this gold gradient inside the yellow shape i've created already i'm going to right click on the shape the gold gradient shape and draw to where i have the yellow shape then you have these options like this you click on copy fill here and the gold color goes inside the yellow shape so i can now delete of this okay sorry i will still need that again so i'm going to press ctrl z press ctrl x and you can finish editing power clip and paste it outside the power clip then i'll still open up my power clip again so i can edit the gold color and make it look the way i want it to be so i'm going to click on interactive fill tool this is how you are going to edit the gold color you drag it this way and drag this this way this looks fine so that's it click on the paint tool again and create another custom shape passing through the gold color like this and do this and give it white color right click to take off the outline and press ctrl page down to send it to the back and why i did that was to cover up the picture that was shown down here so that's fine 
you can take this background up a little it looks cool so you click on finish editing power clip and this is how it looks like and i don't like this sharp cut on the woman's uh, body here so i'm going to open up my power clip once again and click on the picture and click on transparency tool and fill it this way to close and cover up that sharp cut there and click finish editing power clip once again so this is fine now i want to edit this woman's picture to blend with my background and first thing first i need to make sure this background is not too sharp because the, the background is too sharp and it's contradicting or competing with the picture so i'm going to add the transparency effect on the background so then i have to press alternate on my keyboard and click on the power clip once you do that you've been able to select the object inside the power clip let me show you this you see it select the object inside the power clip so by pressing alternate on your keyboard and clicking on any object inside the power clip you'll be able to select that object inside that power clip but if you can't do that you can still open up the power clip and edit the object you want to but for now i'm going to do it this way so you click while selecting the background inside the power clip you click on your transparency tool and click on uniform transparency to transfer in the background this way but it's too transparent so i'm going to hold here and reduce the transparency and i think this is fine you click on your pick to click out here and that's fine you click on your shape and click on magenta to get this color this way that looks nice then i'm going to fill that shape with blue so you fill it this way and give it blue this looks great now you can see the background blends with this picture and i need to add a little editing on the picture click on alternate again on your keyboard and select the picture you can see i've been able to select the picture then you click on effect click on adjust and click on tone curve and this dialog box pops up what you have to do is to click and drag here to take it upwards and bring it down here again and the picture looks a little bit lively and sparkling so you click on ok to leave that and that looks very fine and that's for the front cover i'm going to click on the front cover right click and drag to the back cover and leave then you see copy fill here you click now the same fill that was on the front cover has been transferred to the back cover and that looks fine so i can now edit my fill this way click on interactive fill to while selecting the back cover and adjust because i don't want much of magenta on the back cover this is perfect this way that's fine and next thing i'm going to do is to bring in this background so i'm going to select the background again and copy the background and paste power clip this background inside here by right clicking and dragging to the shape then you see power clip inside you leave that's fine and you bring it here just this way is fine i think that looks perfect that way and I'm going to click on transparency tool again to increase the transparency for the back cover. I think that looks fine. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this shape again. This shape, the gold shape. Copy it and paste outside the power clip. Right click and drag to the back cover and click on power clip inside. Now I'm going to adjust it this way and this looks fine then i'll open up my power clip click on edit while selecting the back cover you click on edit to open the power clip then you click on paint tool and create a custom shape passing through the gold color like this and that looks fine you give it white color and right click here press ctrl page down 
then you can click on finish so you see how it looks like and that looks very cool but this time i'm going to edit the gold shape again click on alternate on your keyboard and click on the gold shape then you click on shape 2 click on this node and drag this upwards that looks fine and you can bring this downwards a little and that looks fine then you give it shadows like this click on shadow tool and click and drag down to get this shadow then you can increase the opacity of the shadow the opacity yeah that looks perfect 78 percent for the opacity is fine then i'm going to bring in this background once again but this time i'll select the background copy open the power clip and paste right click on the background and take it to the white shape and leave then you see power clip inside you leave that that's fine now press alternate on your keyboard and select the background inside the white shape while you expose this part of the background but this time i'm going to reduce the opacity the transparency just like this and that looks cool you click on finish editing power clip that's nice and fine then i'm going to create a circle like this press control on your keyboard while creating this circle so you remain on a perfect circle like this and give it a temporal color like white and right click here to take off the outline press shift on your keyboard and select the shape behind and press c to centralize and that's fine and click on the shape again press shift on your keyboard and reduce it this way you can see how it looks like when you press it but when i leave shift this is how it is so you press shift on your keyboard and right click to duplicate just like this that's fine now i'll need this gold gradient again right click and drag to the large circle and leave then you click on copy fill here and you see what we have got you can delete this gold gradient now now what i'm going to do here is to power clip this picture inside this white shape so you right click on the picture and click on power clip inside and click on the white shape press alternate on your keyboard and select the picture inside the circle and reduce it this way press shift while reducing this picture so this looks good and fine you can adjust the tone of the picture if your own picture is not better this way and i'm going to add shadows to this gold circle once again click on the shadow tool and and give it this shadow like this then you can increase the opacity of the shadow okay 81 percent that looks fine and that's for the back cover so back to the front cover again i'm going to type here okay i'll open up my microsoft word where i have all the write-up for the program so i'm going to copy everything here Control x and bring it to corel draw and using your text tool you click and paste you can click on maintain font or any option here but since i'm going to edit it i don't need to choose any specific function for that i'm going to press ctrl k on my keyboard to break the text apart like this click on glorious home call and bring it here then you click double click here and break the text press ctrl k to break the text select both text and give it trajan that's the typeface i'll be using for that then you can increase it this way and make it bold fine then bring it here and give it white color just as you can see press shift and select the shape and press c to centralize that and bring the home call here and reduce it this way give it white color as well and bring it up here press shift and select glorious and press c to centralize that 
that looks fine and cool and i need to bring this picture downwards a little so it won't be too close to the right up press control while doing this so the picture remains on a straight line that looks fine that's fine you can right click on white to make the text bolder a little to give it a a outline an outline yeah that's fine and next thing I'm going to do is to bring in this other text down here. You click on this and I'll break the text like this. And now I will target the main name. What I do in every funeral cover design I do, I target the main name, which is supposed to be Grace. Fine. While the title is going to be small. So I'm going to break the text press ctrl k to break and make this title trajan fine and click on grace and give it petras that's fine and click on the last names and give it trajan once again and that's fine so i'm going to click on grace and increase the text like this and that looks fine and take it up a little and bring this down fine you can select all and press c take this upwards bring this downwards you can reduce this and make it bold while this can remain this way select all and press c and bring it here then you can increase it this way So this looks fine. So I'm going to click on Grace again. Click on Text and click on Change Case and click on Title Case. And this is what we have got. So I'm going to click on Let Madam and bring it down here. Make it bold and reduce it this way. Fine. And this be down here and make it bold as well. So now I'm going to copy the few I've used on all the backgrounds. Click on the back cover. Remember there is a particular few on the background. So if you right click and bring it to where we have grace and leave. Then you see copy few here. That same few color comes inside this. And that's fine. So I'm going to select both and increase it again. That's fine. Click and make this bold. You can take it closer to the name again and that's very simple and nice you click on this name as well and give it charger make it bold and make it magenta color and that's fine you increase it a little and bring it down here that's perfect okay and i'm going to create this shape like this Fine. and I'm going to copy this same few here right click to duplicate when you click and drag and right click to duplicate let me do that again you click on the circle and drag you right click before you leave to duplicate so you right click and bring to the circle here and fill it copy few here and that's fine you can delete this off click and right click to take off the outline and click on interactive fill too and increase this like this that's fine reduce this again so i have a duplicate of the gold circle just as i did on this one that's the same pattern i used here so i'm going to fill this small circle with the same fill on grace copy and drag here and click on copy few here that's perfect and fine you can click on the gold circle and click on shadow tool and drop this shadow like this you can reduce the feathers and reduce the opacity to 36 that's perfect and fine then i'm going to break this like this and break this again Press Ctrl K. Then click on this text and give it Petrax and bring it here. 
now it's behind the circle so i'm going to click on control page up to send it to the top like this and that's very fine then click on the circle right click and bring it to the 89 and you have this option so you click on copy fill here to set the same gold color on the 89 then you click on yes and bring it down here as well press control page up to send it to the top and give it this typeface charger make it bold and copy the same few with the same pattern right click and drag to the text so when you have this icon you leave then you see copy few here and it has the same few then you increase it this way and finally this should be here control page up to send it to the top then i can close this like this then change the typeface as well to Trajan and make it bold and reduce it this way and bring it here and I need to take this upwards a little and take this upwards and take this up then click and copy fill here as well and that's fine so I'm going to select all and drop a shadow on them uh, that's perfect increase the shadow to 67 or uh, 71 is fine and that looks very cool there and I'm going to add a special I'm going to add another special effect on the name grace click on the shape rectangle tool and create this rectangle like this and give it blue color right click here to take off the outline or better still you give it magenta color then using your transparency tool press shift and create this transparency here and that looks fine then you can duplicate by doing this click and drag press control while you drag and right click before you leave just by this side of the transparency duplicate again duplicate again and duplicate again so next thing you want to do is to group all and press ctrl g and convert it to bitmap you can leave it at cmyk color bitmap then you right click and bring it to where you have grace then you see the icon changes so you can click on power clip inside so now the shape is, or the bitmap is inside the power clip press alternate and select the bitmap inside the power clip and adjust it this way click and you have these curves like this when you click again and you drag it to this side and drag it to this side so you have this effect then you can click on transparency tool and click on transparent uniform transparency yeah and you have this kind of uh, effect like this wave on the grace so that's fine for the front cover and back to the back cover i'm going to type here appreciation they change the typeface to trajan and make it bold then increase it this way and bring it here press shift and click on the shape and press c to centralize you can fill it with gold color as well with the same method we have been using to fill other gold colors just like that and that is okay so i'm going to copy the appreciation here on my microsoft word and create a text box using your text tool and press ctrl v to paste inside the text box you can click on this card font and formatting because i'm going to edit the text so you give it a white color so i'm going to change the typeface to futura and that's fine click here and change the font family to uh, futura medium and that's fine click here and change the alignment to full justify and that's very perfect change the font size to 14 that's cool and click here to release it down here and make this name bold that's perfect 
and you can see the text is having a kind of uh, competing with the background and the background is not supposed to compete with the text at all so i'm going to click here on the rectangle tool and create another shape like this reason being that i don't want to reduce the transparency of the background that's why i had to create this shape so i'm going to give this shape a blue color and right click here to take off the outline click on transparency tool and click on uniform transparency then you reduce the transparency like this that's fine press ctrl page down to send it to the back of the text so this is what we have it's no more competing with the text as before and at the same time i can fill this blue transparent shape with with magenta as well so it blends with the background perfectly then you can double click on where we have the first paragraph and click on drop cap to have this pop like this to have this text like this and that's fine so this it's for the back cover and i think that is very perfect so i think this is the end of our design so i'm going to zoom out so you see how it looks so this is how the design looks like and this is a simple step-by-step -step process on how to design a funeral program cover with Corel Draw 2020. If you enjoyed and you learned new things from this video, give this video a like and make sure you comment your thoughts about this video. Tell me if you were to do this design, apart from the colors I use, which color would have been perfect for you? Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you next time.